Welcome to this channel. So tonight I have a chance to chat with many of our traditional Chinese martial art friends and Wing Chun friends around the world. From Europe, America, and Asia. From Asia, I have a friend who asked me, Well, Hendrik, why don't you just drop the entire this uh, Wing Chun research? Just fuse what you know in the Wing Chun Inception with MMA and call it off. It's easier that way. And then there are Wing Chun friends ask me, Well, Hendrik, if I study this uh, 1850s Wing Chun and uh, will that give me advantage compared if I go to study the uh, Western boxing? So I asked him and said, what do you think? Do you think there will be a difference between a person who study BJJ and a person who study Western boxing. So he told me he cannot relate on it because uh, Wing Chuners, when they fight, they fight like Western boxer too. And then I have a friend from Europe asking me about the General Chi Ji Guang's riding and friends in the United States asking me on the uh, Xi Xiaotong's video like uh, Xi Xiaotong is mocking the uh, Wing Chun all sort of stuff you know sometimes I see all this thing I feel really sad and I don't want to be the guy who actually uh, sharing all this thing which is I'm sharing for past a year or so I don't like it because that made me feel like what do I do this why, why am I doing this and of course the bottom line is oh this is because of culture I don't know how long this culture will continue on <clears throat> but uh, I guess there's a responsibility to let people know what it is so that the people want to know be able to know what it is but then it is a complex stuff because many people those this uh, Wing Chun and, and, and traditional Chinese martial and so forth is about business it's not about culture it's not about humanity, it's business. So you have all kinds of complex stuff. Okay. With the all this thing, tonight I like to share with you two things. Okay. Two things. So I hope that you see what I'm seeing. This is a serious problem. And I don't even know whether I can straighten this thing up or how much I can help. I don't know. And uh, the first thing is on General Shi Chi Kuang. You know the title of the General Shi Chi Kuang writing? The title? Just the title of the General Shi Chi Kuang classic. I have not seen a proper translation in the West. I have not seen yet. In Asia, very rare people even care to read what it is. So, the title in Mandarin is said Quan Jing Jie Yao Pian. Quan Jing Jie Yao Pian. So, a popular translation today is chapter on the feast canon and the essence of nimbleness. That's what the translation. 
Another one is the Essence Chapters of Fish Canon. Do you know both of this is just off completely? They don't know what it is. So what is General Chichikong means for that 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 chap uh, that chapter, you know like chapter? Well a direct translate to you what General Chi Chi Kuang mean on that thing is Article of Martial Arts Direct Key Point Article An article Not even a chapter The article Which show you the Which directly show you the key points of martial arts Meaning the essence of the essence of martial arts Got nothing to do with a, a fish cannon or this fish cannon or, or whatever name this Jie Jie meaning Okay, this Qian Jing Jie Yang Pian Jie meaning no bullshit Straightforward Yao meaning key points So General Qi Ji Guang This Pian is article, not chapter Okay so he, he wrote this, this, this article because it, it is not a big chapter, it is an article this article, article 14 that's what this is about the no nonsense, no bullshit key points of martial arts or fighting arts that's what it is, that chapter is for or that, that article, we better call it, the article is for. So that article, that writing of Chi Chi Kuang, that classic of Chi Chi Kuang, is get down to the most bottom line of fighting. He make a summarize there. In this article, in this article, Oh, now we call it chapter. There are four parts of it. The first is explaining why he wrote that chapter. The second is the summarize of the key point, the direct no-nonsense key point of fighting. The third and the fourth is the, the momentum drawing and the explanations or descriptions of the momentum. So there are four parts in it. If you really want to know what is the general Chi Chi Kuang classic, that's what it is. Okay. Direct present to his army in fighting, this is the key point summarize the entire thing and then show in drawing the momentum different type of momentum and then the explanations the explanations or descriptions is called what in cantonese today we always call queen quit queen quit queen quit that's what it is the descriptions okay but today we look at it like Chinese philosophy, Chinese martial arts philosophy, well, have no idea what it is. That is how bad it is today. The older generation, like my generations and uh, older generations, okay, not even my generations, older generations are generations older than me and all this stuff. Still, not many of them know. But they are the, 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 the people who know. To my generation, this is very rare. People know this ancient thing. And you can see all this Tai Chi, this, that, Ying, Yang, Sun, or, or Bagua. It's completely, completely trashing what General Chi Chi Kuang is teaching. This is solid down to the to the money you want to fight this is bottom line okay so he 
he, he described all that thing. This is the reality. Okay. Now, how how to how to how to help this? I have no idea anymore. Seriously. I think the Chinese government need to have a a group of people in university or somewhere if they want to preserve the culture uh, to do research on that pay all these top-notch people to do the job otherwise this is gone another thing is on the Xi Xiaodong when he talked about the Wing Chun in that thing he showed you know like you're using hand and so forth You know, the Wing Chun he show, the Wing Chun Xi Xiao Dong know, the Wing Chun Xi Xiao Dong know, and described in his video, you know what happened? That Wing Chun is missing the first core of the, the first point, key point of General Chi Chi Gong writing, which is the body methods. As in uh, the previous video, I explained that the body method, you have to have your, your torso, your leg, your arm unity, your entire this unity, limbs, and your body, torso, be able to contract, expand. And the third one is accelerate. You look at the, the, the Wing Chun, uh, Xi Xiaodong is presenting. It doesn't have this. And if you look at Xi Xiaodong when he present, pre, uh, 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 present the KO knockout punch, you see this body methods. So when you have some martial art, namely like traditional Chinese martial art, doesn't matter if it's Wing Chun or whatever, you violate on this, even the most basic, the body methods. I really don't know how what to say. I really don't know. Like tonight, I reveal to you that Wing Chun, uh, Xi Xiaodong present. Is it real? Sure, it is real. He is telling you. And actually, the Wing Chun guy Li Kang who fight Xi Xiaodong and saying that oh he 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 used this hand technique that hand technique when Xi Xiaodong come in his all his techniques become uh, bent out of shape it's because that so Xi Xiaodong know about this momentum even though Xi Xiaodong doesn't know this uh general Chi Chi Gong writing doesn't know this body method but because he did train in MMA and of course, you know, martial art is martial art, fighting art is fighting art. You know, a tiger fight too, but a tiger have to use their body method to go. Well, they can sense you. If you don't have that, they're going to hop into you. So, this is the major problem of Wing Chun. As what have described by Xi Xiaotong. So, are we going to change this to bring this back? Which is, which is as, as the, the reason why I put it in the restricting Wing Chun. This is the Shaolin stuff. That is the entire body has to be one. The more body method and the, the, the body function is here. Very basic. But then how many really seriously uh, take it serious? For what? Like the Chi Chi Guang, the Shaolin, the 1850s uh, uh, Wing Chun is talking about. Besides going through, like I, this morning I am uh, deleting many, many uh, comments saying that, Hendrik, why don't you just go do some real fighting? And of course, I usually, I, you know, as usual, 
I reply them as saying that this channel is for culture and education based on evidence and science. So you're off topic. If you want to fight, this is Xi Xiaodong's channel. Go contact him because you are in the wrong channel. And I delete the thing. Okay. Now Without doing this, Xi Xiao don't know what we are doing, but we don't know what Xi Xiao Dong is doing or what Xi Xiao don't know. That is the scary part. Like you make a wall. Your opponent know exactly your 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 weapons, your strategy, and how is the uh, the 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 the, the, the power, the level of power, but we don't know that. We don't know ourselves more than our, our opponent. That's how scary it is, okay? So these two things i like to share with you. What traditional Chinese martial art gets screwed today? Do not go beyond General Chi Ji Kuang's direct, no nonsense, no bullshit key point. If you look into here, you can pinpoint, oh, because this guy, this style, violate this, violate this, violate this, violate this. You violate what General Chi Ji Kuang tell his army 450 years ago, you must not violating this. You need to have this. So this is what I like to share with you, you know. Since I'm the Buddhist, I can only say, I share what I can. Hopefully there are somebody out there who care. Then they know the directions to, 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 to find the informations. I am just only can do that thing. Okay. It's about culture. As for this Jenna Chi Chi Kong classic, I've been thinking, should I make a, a what? Write a book just to, to to present the basic of what the heck's going on here. And of course, you know, I'm I am afraid of writing books. You don't know how, you know, it, it is very tedious, you know, you have to go look at this and then you get to check this and then you have to write. I hate grammar, okay? If somebody can have a, 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 a visual or, or memory dumb, I dumb it for you right away. I hate those you know, typing in and then grammar or is this the way how to say it and everything, everything. And, and then you have the example and then you can draw dry. I, I don't like that. Okay. So I say, well, if anybody can have a memory dumb, I dumb you. What the heck is in inside here? So it is that serious now. Okay. And uh, the Chinese martial art is pretty high tech, even 450 years ago. But we don't have it. There's no point to defend any grandmaster this and grandmaster that because. You take my words. At this time now, better not to mention any grandmaster name. Because if you try to defend, uh, defend any grandmaster, when people pull this thing up, all the grandmaster you defending is going to go down to the tube. Because a simple question can ask. Okay, this is the grandmaster. Why is he doesn't even know the basic of the general Chi Chi Guang's teaching or summary? Just this one single question will knock everything down. And I say it here because I'm really concerned you will get to that day. As you can see lately more and more the uh, ancient stuff get dig out 
ancient document get dig up. On one way, you have uh, Xi Xiaodong, which is doing MMA, and he's telling the truth. On the other hand, they start to learn about this thing and they dig up. So that is the reality, okay? And uh, I'm, I know I'm whining here because I feel pain. I don't know how much I can help. I don't know how much people care. And I might be witnessing something going down to vanish. And that is really sad. 